Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome to the basement Dino Dungeon. Look here, okay? We have lots of new figures that were sent to us by a Dan Safarian. Some kinder animals right here, as well as two gashapons. These are gashapons are basically shark gashapons, which look very cool. I think we have a couple of them previously. Not too sure where I have displayed them, but I'll try to find them and we can do a comparison. I think it's right here. Yeah, we have one of it. Okay, so right now we have two more, which is really fantastic. So let's have a look at all of these figures and these two brand new gashapons. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's open the first one right here. Okay. So this is basically like Jaws, if I'm not wrong. They look like, you know, the Jaws movie. So let's open this. Okay, let's have a look at this figure. First, let's take a look at the leaflet. So this is a beautiful mini gashapon. There are like five to collect. So if you take a look at this, okay. But it doesn't show Oh, it's right here. So you can see all comes in different colors as well as different species of sharks. So let's take a look at the first one. Seems like we have the hammerhead shark, which is awesome because we don't have the hammerhead. So this is a new one. Wow. Thanks to the Den Safari, we have sent this to us. Looks really beautiful. Hammerhead shark right here. It comes with a beautiful base that simulates the seawater. Very, very cool. So this is the hammerhead shark. So let's open the other one. We have to remove the tape right here first. Okay, just give me a second. Try to remove this. And this one seems to be... It seems to be a goblin shark. I think so. I think it should. I think it is a go goblin shark. The leaflet is basically the same. Okay, so this is actually its YouTube channel, Twitter, and Instagram. So right here we have the hammerhead. I think we've got the great white as well. Goblin. This one could be the blue shark, and this one should be the fruit shark. So we've got the goblin shark right now, which is fantastic. Okay, just give me one second later on, I will want to show you our previous one. We can take a look at the previous one together. So this is basically the Goblin Shark. Right now, have a look at this. So this is basically how it looks like when it's try to feed on its prey. It will extend its jaw. Very cool. So we have the Hammerhead. We've got a Goblin Shark. Looks incredible. So right now, just give me a second. Give me a second, okay? I'm going to open my shell to take out this shop right here. Where's the other one? Yep, it's right over here. So this is basically the great white. Check this out. Okay, so we have the great white right here. Hammer, sorry, goblin. And the hammerhead. Okay, very nice. Okay, now let's take a look at the other figures that the Sun Dan Safari has sent us. I'm not too sure whether this is a kinder figure. I don't think so. This is really beautiful. You can see it has plenty of articulation. The trunk, which is the, the nose, can move. All fours can move as well. The tail can't. Very beautiful and it's actually made of very rubbery material right here. So you can feel the texture is very rubbery. It feels very premium. So we have an elephant right here and doesn't seem to be an adult. Seems to be a juvenile elephant. Next, we have a goat and this is definitely from Kinder Surprise. Definitely. I think we already have this figure. But it's cool. It's cool. We can still kind of display them later on neatly for the thumbnail. So let's try and try our best to display them as neatly as possible. And here we have a frog. Are we able to open its mouth? I don't think so. 
So this is a frog. Seems to be from Kinder. Seems to be a Kinder frog. Okay, I'll put it right over here. We have two of them. So the dance has sent us quite a number of them. And this is Panda. The Panda seems to be similar to the one that we have. It's also a Kinder Panda. Very cute and adorable. Next. We have a Komodo Dragon. This is really cool. I don't have this figure. Definitely I don't have this figure. I'm trying to see whether there's any articulation. Nope, there isn't. Beautiful one. Maybe the tail can move. Oh yes, the tail can move. Yeah, and the feet actually moves along as well. Yeah, very cool. So this is a Komodo Dragon. Our first Komodo Dragon from Kinder. Very nice. Next, we have a Red Panda. Does it come with any articulation? Yes, you can move the left arm, which is holding on to some bamboo shoots, I think. So this is really beautiful as well. Okay, red panda. It's really cool. Next, what do we have right here? Seems to be a seal. And this one should be from Kinder as well. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous one. This three, I'll be placing them in my shelf right over there. So stay tuned. I'll probably show you guys later on. And what's next? We have a cockatoo. Okay, let's see whether we are able to move this. We should be able to move it, I think. Are you able to rotate it? Nope, not really. How about this? Yeah, the feather on top can actually move. Very cool. It's our first cockatoo as well. We don't have this figure. So this is a very nice one. Okay, next, I think we have some figures that fell off. So we definitely need to assemble them. Let's try. Oops. Okay, it's not exactly very easy. Not sure how to actually assemble it. Let's try. Let's try our best. Okay, there you go. This is a koala. And this basically seems like it is holding on to a tree. And this tree seems to be very similar to... Seems to be quite similar to one that we had previously. Yeah, we definitely need to... I think we have to assemble it like this. Oh my goodness, this is not easy to assemble. Yeah, you probably need to assemble it like this. I'll try my best. I may not be able to do it, so bear with me. I can't do it, guys. We have to assemble it first, like this. Just give me a second, bear with me. Just pop it right in. And let me see whether, I think this is actually for the monkey. I'm not too sure. I don't think this is the tree for it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't work this way. Yeah, <laughs> it came off again. We, we have to put you away first. Okay, we'll come back to you later on. And here's another Komodo dragon. So this is really nice. Komodo dragons, they can be found in Indonesia. Penguins. This one should be quite easy to assemble. Just pop in. Pop it right in. And I think this is like able to rock like this. So let me just do a zoom in. Okay, just check out this happy feet. Be able to move. Very, very adorable. Okay, put it right here. And now, we pop in the other penguin. Okay, and this is the cockatoo that we were talking about. Seems like the feathers of this is slightly damaged. So there are two of them. But this one, I think... Oh! I think it's it's torn. It's okay, it's fine. Alright, next. Let's have a look at this. This is the dolphin. We do have a pretty similar one, but the, the one that we have is actually a light gray dolphin so this is a new one a 
new dolphin. Just gonna pop this right in as well. Most likely a bottlenose dolphin. So very beautiful. Hippopotamus. Wow, this is cute. It actually features a movable upper jaw and you are able to see its teeth inside. Yep, it's a kinder one. You can see that it's like a K, which should be standing for kinder. I'm not too sure. I'm just kidding. But this one is definitely a kinder one, but it doesn't have, you know, the K on it. Okay, let's try to assemble this, which is a mini gorilla. Oh dear. Is there like a missing leg? Let's try. I'm not sure. Perhaps there's a missing leg. Is it right here? I need to check. Just give me a second. I'm trying to find the missing leg. Maybe it's in the Kinder box. I'm not exactly sure. So right now we have a gorilla which is missing a, a leg. It's a very poor, poor thing. But it's able to stand very well. Black Panther. Very nice. Black Panther. Yep, so basically these are the figures. The new figures. I'm very happy with them. Okay. Thanks for watching this. I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Goodbye.